Nvidia stock closed a few dollars away from $950. And I bet a lot of semiconductor and AI investors are happy right now. I know I am. On today's episode, we are going to take a closer look at three important updates impacting Nvidia. First, we do have a nice bullish sentiment from yet another analyst. Second, XAI, the AI company by Elon Musk, is reportedly looking to become a bigger customer of one of our favorite cloud server providers. And third, we do have some bullish sentiment about Dell and the AI server space. So let's get started with today's episode. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for the subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. So we can see here Nvidia pretty much finished the day at $946.30, up roughly 3.5%. So there's a lot of bullish cases impacting Nvidia before earnings. And sometimes that worries me, but Nvidia and the AI market continue to dominate as we continue to see various new updates impacting the overall AI space. For example, on yesterday's episode, we took a look at some of the big tech companies and all the new AI workloads and AI solutions that they just recently announced. So the first thing I want to take a closer look at is the overall bullish sentiment from a new uh, another analyst. So in the past few days, we've seen things like price target increase. Here, we're going to see more of just a more bullish sentiment sentiment in forms of revenue forecast. So this is going to come from UBS. So UBS maintained their price target for Nvidia at $1,150 with a buy rating. They believe that Nvidia will poise a strong quarter one revenue, likely reaching $26 billion due to kind of the reduced lead times on chips. Now, if we take a closer look at what analysts are expecting, analysts are expecting on average roughly $24.5 billion in revenue. So we can see that this analyst is very, very bullish and believes that they are going to beat the average expectation. Now, one thing that many investors are worried right now is that in mid-December, we're going to start to see the initial shipments of the Blackwell processors. And some investors are worried that, hey, look, if the new chip is coming out later this year, why are companies going to buy a new chip right now? Why are they going to buy the H100? Why are they going to buy the H200? If the Grace Blackwell chip is going to, or the Blackwell 100 and Blackwell 200 are coming out later this year. And the answer is pretty simple. Right now, if you're standing still in the AI space, you're going to be left alone. Give me, uh, let me know if OpenAI is going to wait and not purchase the H200 and let Google and some of these other big tech players run them over because they have more computational power to be able to train better models. Let me know if Google is going to stop investing in the next chip because they are willing to wait for the next generation while their competitors bum rush them into the next large language models and next AI solution. So this is one reason why I believe this bearish case has really no moat to it. The other thing is a lot of these companies that are upgrading, they have plenty and plenty of data centers that they need to upgrade. So they're going to upgrade to H100s, they're going to upgrade to H200, and they're going to upgrade to the Blackwell 100 and Blackwell 200 because they have plenty and plenty of servers to continue to update. Before we go any further, we are now on the road to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you all for the crazy support so if you haven't and are enjoying the content make sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button finally if you want to support the channel a little bit more make sure to check out my special offer at fool.com slash jose now back to today's episode now ups also did share some quarter two estimates they expect that revenue is projected to be roughly 28.8 billion dollars and earnings per share of six dollars and 55 cents now if we take a closer look at analyst expectations for that for that quarter that's expected to be roughly 26.7 billion so ubs is a lot more bullish for nvidia right now compared to the average and obviously the average has both buy analysts and sell analysts mm -hmm. so, so obviously that mixes up with the average but right now we're getting some nice bullish sentiment for nvidia overall now the second topic i wanted to talk about was this 
uh, article that keeps appearing that Elon Musk um, XAI, which is its AI, its a, his AI company, nears a ten billion dollar deal to rent Oracle's AI server. The information reports. So, for those that don't know, Oracle is probably one of my favorite cloud server providers right now. I put this as my top buy for 2024 with Nvidia and CrowdStrike. I believe were the three in my top buys for 2024, and all three are, in my opinion, expected to continue to do really, really strong. So Oracle has been investing a lot in the AI space. They already have XAI as a customer for their cloud service, for their cloud service solution, but it seems like obviously XAI is continuing to evolve and make new AI workloads, new AI solutions that they need more and more computational power. So obviously that bolts well for Oracle. And in my opinion, it just showcases the strength of this AI market and how Oracle can definitely grab some market share in this space. In my opinion, Oracle at $121 is still pretty cheap. And it's one that I'm going to continue to buy as long as I can. Now, the final topic we're going to take a closer look at is Dell Technologies. So Dell Technologies, ticker DELL, -E -E is sitting at $149. Today, the stock was up roughly 11% on some great optimism about the AI server and AI server orders. Year to date, the stock is up nearly 100%. Many people kind of compare it as a super micro to some extent, and it is trading at a cheaper price to super micro. Micro, so maybe that's why investors are pretty, pretty excited. But today we did get a price target increase from Morgan Stanley um, because they believe that Dell Technologies will rake up a nice amount of AI server Intel AI servers sales, um, which can obviously boast revenue and earnings per share. They're increasing their price target to $152 from $128. We're already close to that price target estimate after today's um, gains. Now, Dell Technology definitely got some great, great... Um, Press from NVIDIA CEO during their GTC events in March. Uh, here are some quotes that they share. For example, um, Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA, mentions that for the AI space, you're going to need an AI factory and nobody is better at building end-to-end -end systems of very large scale for the enterprise than Dell. So we can see NVIDIA CEO definitely trying to sell um, or, or kind of showcase that partnership with Dell Technologies. So many investors are very bullish for this reason. Now, if we take a look, a closer look at this company, forward PE ratio, which is the next 12 months, is sitting at roughly 19.68. Again, this is sitting at way cheaper levels than super micro. Dell Technologies PE ratio forward one year is sitting at 17.13. So Dell stock is definitely a stock we have covered before and just like super michael this is not a market i personally would invest in but we can see you can still do great great returns in this overall the hardware company is not a market i would invest in i rather focus in companies like nvidia that have a way stronger moat and don't really have to face too much competition so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode take care have a good day and see you all next time